So here we are with yet another episode of the best Nova Launcher setups. Today is episode 17 and I have three new setups to showcase to you guys, two of which utilize brand new features that I've never showcased before on my channel. So without further ado, let's get started. So first up today, we have Irfan setup. Now, this is a three page setup. It is obviously using Nova Launcher, but it is based around KLWP, otherwise known as the custom live wallpaper maker application. So what this app allows you to do is really take complete control over your home screen setup by customizing it within the app itself and then actually setting it as your wallpaper. And so what this results in with Irfan setup is this really neat integration of different elements to make what I think is a super clean and unique home screen setup. So firstly, the setup has been built from and customized using the AH collection for KLWP pack, although it seems as though this is no longer available on the Play Store, so I will link an APK down below instead. But you can see the backdrop of our main home page includes the white box at the top and at the bottom, and then a nice looking leafy wallpaper in the middle there, which comes from the Resplash wallpaper application. So I'm a big fan of this style of home screen setup, placing solid colors on both the top and bottom of the wallpaper to really make widgets and icons look clean and distinct and to break up the home screen setup into different sections visually. The first widget up the top there is a really simple weather widget. It just tells you the temperature and I have mine set up to launch into the frog weather shortcut application, otherwise known as the Google weather feed. Then below that we have a day and time widget. This has been set up to launch into the clock application. From there, we have five application icons down the bottom, the phone, Instagram, Google Chrome, WhatsApp, and the camera app. I had to jump in and tweak some of these to match the apps on my own device, but they also have this really neat slide down animation that triggers when you tap on each of them. Now, aside from that, you can actually swipe right on the wallpaper and it will transition over to two other wallpaper options, an industrial looking one, and then finally a water and sunset image. Again, each of which come from the Resplash wallpaper application and look just about as clean as the first option. The other thing to quickly mention here is the custom status bar icons up the top. Now, because I'm using a phone with a notch, I had to enable the show notification bar option within the look and feel settings of Nova Launcher. Otherwise, there'd be a large black bar at the top, which doesn't look nice at all. So it kind of makes this second status bar widget somewhat redundant. But for those without a notch, it could work quite nicely if that's something you're interested in. Also, there's a hidden button up the top left here. And if you find it, it will activate a black frame around the first home screen, but swiping right hides it. And I'm not 100% convinced that this black frame is at all necessary, but you may like the look of it, so it's there if you want it. Aside from that, the app drawer is fairly self-explanatory. App icons come from the Delta icon pack, which looks nice. And if you're wondering how to get all of this set up onto your own device, then Irfan is actually sent through the KLWP file, as well as his Nova backup file. So it's actually quite simple to pull off once you've got those files downloaded. But anyway, that was a lot to get through. It's really an awesome looking setup, definitely worthwhile giving a go on your own device. But with that said, let's move on to setup number two. So next we have another three page setup. This one has been sent in by Peter. It again uses KLWP to make it look and feel the way that it does. So let's take a deeper dive and see what's been included in this home screen setup. So as I said, it has three different pages and when you swipe between them, there's this really funky animation that again, just makes everything feel really nicely integrated. The first screen, which is in the middle, showcases us a really nice clock widget, but it's on this page that we get to appreciate the wallpaper in a bit more detail. And this backdrop has been sent through directly, which will of course be linked below. But I like the darker palette of this one and that it still provides us with a nice ode to the outdoors. And I think it suits the look of the setup quite nicely. Back to the clock widget itself for a moment. And this is a minimal and clean widget integrated into the KLWP setup. And it again has been set up to trigger the clock application upon tapping on it. Swiping over to the page on the left, and this has kind of been split up into three separate sections visually, although the top two go hand in hand functionally with the top being the album artwork of whatever music or audio is currently playing. And then the text below obviously representing what you're playing at that time as well. It also blurs the album artwork when you pause it, which is a nice feature as well. Below that, you can see we have a set of 20 app icons set up in a five by four grid, each of which are using icons from the Simpax icon pack, which I quite enjoy the look of. The icon in the middle at the bottom triggers the app drawer, which overall has been set up quite nicely. Each app has been categorized into a different page, which keeps things very neat and organized, which I'm a big fan of. Swiping back and over to our last page on the home screen, and this has also been split up into three different sections. Up the top is a weather widget. This takes its icons from the GNW icons pack. Below that is a location widget, which ties in nicely with the background, I think, and tapping on it launches into Google Maps. And then down the bottom, we have a nice info bar, which incorporates the current location, Wi-Fi connection, and battery percentage. 
Aside from that, that's really it to this setup. Once again, the KLWP backup file is linked below alongside the Nova backup file. So if you like what you see, then definitely check those files out to get this setup onto your own device. And then finally today, we have a more traditional looking home screen setup sent in by Reshikesh. And this uses a more orthodox means of setup and yet still provides us with a really nice looking overall theme. Starting with that wallpaper, this one has again been sent through directly, which is great. And I like the gradient of this image in that we have a subject or something to look at in the middle, which then fades off nicely into both the top and bottom portions of the home screen. This then lets that top widget stand out quite nicely. And this widget actually comes from the Overdrop Pro application, which I actually featured in my most recent episode of the top Android apps. So they're definitely getting some good coverage on my channel of late, but it gives us the date, day, time, weather, and battery percentage, all in a fairly neat package. So lots of information yet visually quite nice and minimal as well. Down the bottom, we have a very small but useful what's currently playing music widget and Rishi Kesh forgot to send this through. So I've made my own, which will of course be linked below as well. Below that is our dock of five application icons. These are all using icons from the Pure Icon Pack, which I really like the look of. They are circular and flat in design, which is 100% my cup of tea. Swiping over to the second page, and here we have the month calendar widget up the top and the today weather widget down below. These two widgets look really nice together. I'm pretty sure there was a similar setup in my last video as well, but I don't have an issue with it because they definitely look great together. Lastly, swiping into the app drawer gives us a quick look at a fairly stock looking app drawer layout. Nothing really of note here, but that's it for this setup. Nicely done and one to try out for sure. But aside from that, that is it for today's episode. As always, links to each and every asset, including the Nova backup files will be included down in the notes below. And don't forget to let me know which of the setups in today's episode was your favorite and why down in the comments below as well. As always, if you wanna have your own setup featured in this series, then make sure you watch the submission video below as well. But aside from that, thank you guys very much for watching and I will catch you later.